Hey everybody, Ryan Horn from RyansTechTips.com. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how teachers can set up Guardian email summaries in their Google Classroom. So step one, teachers need to first turn on Guardian email summaries for your Google Classroom. And to turn on Guardian email summaries, teachers, you'll need to access a Google Classroom. And then in the top right, you're going to single click on the settings button. In class settings, you're going to need to scroll down and find Guardian Summaries. And my Guardian Summaries, I just toggled it off so you can see what it's probably going to look like for you. You're going to single click the switch to toggle it on. And you'll get this message asking if you want to turn on Guardian Email Summaries for all of your Google Classrooms. Leave this checked if you do, or if you just want to turn it on for one of your Google Classrooms. I'd like it on for all, so I'm going to do Add Class. Then I need to press the Save button in the top right hand corner for these changes to take effect. Okay, so once we've turned on Guardian Email Summaries, what's next? Well, the next step we need to do as a teacher is invite the Guardians. We need to invite them one at a time to our classroom. When I go to Classroom to invite Guardians, I'm going to single click on People. And this is strange. I just turned Guardian Email Summaries on, and how come there's already some guardians listed here. Well, that's because if another teacher in your school or in your district also shares your student, just one other teacher, if they share your student, if that teacher has enabled guardian summaries and entered a parent email, that's also going to be integrated into your Google Classrooms, just like that. So let's take a look at Huck Finn here. Huck Finn needs to invite a guardian. So we're going to single click this. And yes, there's not a way you can batch it out. You have to do it one student at a time. You can paste or type an email here. And there's Huck Finn's dad's email. I'm going to press invite. And then teachers, it's going to say invited until the parent accepts that email. Let's take a quick look at what it looks like on the parent end once an email is sent. So a parent's going to get an email that looks like this that says you've been invited to as a guardian in Google Classroom. If a parent says I'm not the guardian, you're going to have to resend that email by entering in the parent's email again by inviting them. If a parent does accept, the parent screen then looks like this. This is the account they're going to get the email from and they press accept. And then the parent can choose if they want to receive a weekly email summary or a daily email summary. Let's take a look back on the teacher view of what this looks like. So when we refresh our screen back here in teacher view, you'll notice that Huck Finn now has a guardian here. And we've entered that in correctly. So next step for teachers, remove a guardian. Look close. It says warning, this action removes the guardian from all of the student classes at your school, not just the class you teach. So make sure only to remove a guardian if you know that you put in the wrong email address. Otherwise, you're erasing all of the email guardian summaries from all of your students' other classes. If you need to remove a guardian email, you go to the three dots on the side, and you press remove, and then you can click remove here to verify that. One more step for the teachers. Let's say you've got your guardian summary emails listed in. You can use Google Classroom now as a quick way to email, to send emails to your guardians. So how that works is under the people section, if you scroll down, if you click email all guardians, it will open up your inbox and then you can send a message to those parents. It's that easy. Okay, that is how you set up guardian email summaries in Google Classroom. I hope 